What's going on everybody? DIY Raymond here and today we're gonna be doing an oil change on 2011 Toyota Camry. We got the 020 Castro Ledge high mileage uh, oil. We got the Fram extra guard oil filter and that's gonna be the CH9972. Probably ain't gonna need this one but I like to have it just in case and I can always keep it in the trunk for whenever I need to add a little oil to the car. So I already got it raised up uh, or put up on the ramps. Now one of the things you is you don't necessarily have to do it if you don't want to, but I like to do it. Go ahead and put your little chalk down, something, a piece of wood, whatever block to stop the car from rolling backwards just in case it happens. That way when you're under it, you're okay. So go ahead and go on up under here and show y'all how to do it. All right, so now we're up under the car. Right here is the uh, oil pan. This is where you drain it out from. This right here is going to be a 9 16 bolt. So let me just take my socket wrench. goes to oil so now we just sit there and let that drain out for right now so I don't lose the uh, cap Oops. Oh, I forgot about that. It's got it. also whenever you're doing your oil change you also want to open up the uh, burp valve right here little air valve so that way it doesn't get too full and start gushing like it just did then and I'm gonna set this little guy right here I'm gonna set it down right there while it drains and while that's taking place I'm going to show y'all how to do the oil filter now alright so for the oil filter it's right up right here next to the uh, oil pan and it takes a 3 8 socket um, if you got an extension just use the extension part to go inside of there you could buy the uh, oil wrench thing for it too but this way it's just as good That's stuck for a second. Hold on. All right. So now I'm back. I can got my breaker bar. It's a half inch. And I'm using a half inch to three eighths um, socket extender. So put it back in that hole. Right, so now I twisted it loose. So then come back under here with this one. Pull that socket off.
see if this doesn't blow in there. Okay, now we can just apply it to it by hand now. Yeah. And there goes the rest of the oil. So let that drain on out. And we'll go ahead and get ready to get the other filter to put in there. And while I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands off real quick. So as you can see, got a little oil on it. Alright, so now we're back. I got this out, took the oil filter out. We're gonna put the new oil filter back in. And then also got a little uh, o-ring right here that you want to take off and replace that and with the filter it gives you the uh, another o-ring just wipe this off real good and put it on it's got a spot where you rest it at Get it on. You're gonna work it down. So. Alright. Right there. So that's where you're gonna put it at. It's just see I see that. Right there. Just above that little gap, so there can be a little gap right there, and that's where you're gonna put it at. And you go ahead and put your old filter in. And it's spring loaded. Now we'll go ahead and put that back in, and then we'll go ahead and start putting oil back in the car. So back under the car, and as you can see, that's where the filter goes at right here, and it's right next to the um, oil pan. So we'll just take it, and screw it back in. hand tight there. I'm just going to take my breaker bar and put it in just a tad bit tighter. So be careful that you don't over tighten it and you also don't want to have it too loose either it should be good right there so that's how you change you change out your oil and now we're going to fill it back up all right now once i fill up the oil i'm not going to see it the whole time and the core while i fill it the oil everybody should know how to fill oil up but what I'm going to do after I do this, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your maintenance um, light. Same maintenance is required for like oil change. I'll show you how to change that out here momentarily. But you, know, you just put your filter. You don't have to always do a, uh, a funnel. But it's sometimes good to start off with until you get most of this oil out of here. So I'm going to let y'all go or pause it for right now while I do this. And we'll be back in a minute. All right. So now we got the uh, car running. Let's see if it does any kind of um, leak, something like that. Don't see any kind of leaks down there. It appears to be good. You can see a little bit of old oil on the um, pan, but that'll be alright. 
and see what I can wipe that down. So let me go ahead and just wipe that all down. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to reset your uh, maintenance light. All right, now that we've let the car run for a little bit so the oil can circulate, we're gonna check the oil. And the car is back level again as well. Push it all the way down, pull it back up. It's pretty good oil level, so. I ain't got to worry about nothing on that. Alright, so now on into the inside to show you how to reset the uh, maintenance line. Alright, so we changed the oil. Now we're going to um, get rid of this maintenance required light. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. Now to do that, you're going to take it from, right now it's on trip A. So you zoom in for you a little bit. See, so it's on trip A. That's where you wanted that, but if you're not on there, you just want to press this little button over here. And then you get on trip A. All right, now we're going to turn the car off. And all you do, you just turn on enough just for the battery to come on. But you want to take one hand and hold the tripometer, hold it in, and turn it on. I should flash like that. Take it off. And there it goes, it's gone away. So I'm gonna turn the car off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Maintenance required. And there it goes. Turn it on. So that is how you get off your, or take off the uh, maintenance required light after you do your oil change. And there's also no service engine light on there. So everything is good to go on this car. Alright, now I have a good one.